Okay, you now join us back on the 4.2 Series 2E type that we first started stripping down because of the stuck valve. You can see the bend in the valve there. That has now been replaced. Valves all set in, some have been reamed to, uh, to make sure that obviously they've got full clearance on the stems. We're now going to add the bucket retaining plates that we've actually purchased from S&G Barrett's as an upgrade. You only need to add these to the exhaust side, but we shall now today start to drill and tap to fit these. You now join us with the 4.2 Jaguar Series 2 head that we removed for the stuck valve. Uh, it is now ready to be replaced back to its engine. Here you can see the retaining bucket plates that we have put in that we mentioned previously. Uh, this one particular bucket outer sleeve had actually started to move due to the fact that you could see the damage from the load of the cam. Okay, we shall get this lifted on. As you will also remember from when we stripped it down, we removed a lot of the corroded and stuck studs. We have now replaced these with new ones. The, with the Series 2, it has to be remembered that these two and these two are slightly taller because this is where the lifting eyes also bolt onto. Right, we are now about to apply the bolts and washers. What we do do as an attention to detail is purchase one of these new kits that are already made and laid out with all the brand new crown and zinc plated fixings. It just makes for a nice bit of detail. Okay, you join us as we've just finished setting the torque settings on the head. We'll now fit the exhaust manifolds. Exhaust manifolds are now fitted. Inlet manifolds being cleaned up at the moment by Mark. So I shall now cut the ties and get the cam gears and timing all connected. As we can see, the lock wire is now into the cam bolts. All cams are now timed. We shall, and tensioner has been adjusted. We shall now put the breather on the front cover. You now join us with coolant in, oil in, everything done except for the rocker boxes and the plug leads just to connect and then we're ready to start. Okay, you join us now, all the fluids, oil levels, coolant, they're all checked, everything's back together, let's see what it sounds like. 